Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you all my note-taking system with Notion. Let's get started. So this is how I structure my notes. First I make a page. So usually I make a page um, based on topic or based on a course I'm following. So in this um, specific one I made one for the responsive web design certificate um, through free code camp so I made that the title of the page and that is what I added here then I added of course an icon you don't have to do that if you don't want to it's not really that important <laughs> but here is the important part so as you can see the notes are fully collapsed and you only see the main topics so you have basic HTML, um, basic CSS, applied visual design, applied accessibility, responsive web design principles, flexbox, and CSS grid. Toggles are amazing. Toggles are your best friend. Always use toggles. Usually I use toggles for the overarching theme or the concept um, as you can see here. Um, and it's it just makes it easier for when you're going back to your notes and you want to reference your notes and you're like Okay, the specific thing that I'm looking for is in HTML So you look in HTML or if the specific thing you're looking for is about Flexbox you open the Flexbox toggle um, I always go back to my notes especially when it comes to Flexbox and CSS grid and that's what makes it so easy as opposed to having you know a notebook where you just scribble down everything um so now let's look inside the toggles so inside the toggles i have bullet points and within each bullet point i write out my notes and when i write out my notes i don't try to copy word by word what i what i read whether you're reading a book or whether you're following a course I don't follow or type out word by word. I write it out in my own words and I try to explain it to myself. I try to explain to myself, what is this? What does this do? So that's what I write out in the bullet points. And under, usually, if I need to, under each bullet point, I write out um, a code snippet that displays what is this. So for example here, what is a label? And then what I also like to do is use um, the red so I use a lot of, of the color coding um, usually I use red and the red arrow to symbolize um, a comment on the code snippet so what is the code snippet doing and what I can use it for and then you can also um, add code to for example you can turn this into a code by clicking here mark as code and that will make it display like this and I like using that for example if you just keep it like this and you're like you don't know that this is code you don't know that you that you use this within your code so if you turn this into actual code just click here then you know okay display grid this is how you use it this is what this is and as you can tell I really like color coding color coding is extremely important it really helps kind of like yeah make everything click <laughs> and I also like using like embedding different topics within within each section so for example here I have um, the different units that you can use for CSS grid then I made a list a numbered list oh no don't move I made a numbered list and then again this is an actual code so this is how you would actually code this out if you want to use it so fr auto or percentage so these are my notes and I really like that you can also put images so for example I have here the images I have this image that shows you how to control the spacing with CSS grid and of course you can always reference this image and these images are from courses that I was taking so for example these are from the free code camp course that I was taking so that's how I take those notes now I'm gonna show you my JavaScript notes now these notes are different because this is just for a topic so this is just for JavaScript and I have different courses within this page so I have a scramble course that I followed and then I have the toggles and within each toggle again I have the bullet points and I have the code snippets so it's the same structure and then here I have the free code camp 
um, JavaScript basics. So for example here I um, divided it up into even more sections. So right here I have the math op math operations and within there and within that like overarching theme I have other toggles so the assignment operator and then you open that and then you have more notes <laughs> so it's a lot of embedding you know it's a lot of this within this within this and this is another thing that I like doing is adding a bunch of red exclamation marks and this is just um kind of like to tell me like okay this is important and you didn't really understand it so come back to it and this is just you know it's a trigger you see red and you're like wait why is that red and then to me it's like okay you have to come back to that so for example this is recursion if you know <laughs> recursion it was a little bit difficult for me to understand I still don't fully really understand it um, I've been reading up on it but yeah so this is why I added all these exclamation marks I have a quick like explanation of what I think it is so if you as you can see this page is only dedicated to JavaScript so if I'm working on a JavaScript project or if I really need um, to look up something for JavaScript then I come directly here so as you can see from my notes the, the way you structure your notes and notes and organize your notes is really really important because you're always going to be coming back to your notes so having digital notes is extremely important i think it's extremely important even if you write out your notes by hand i definitely recommend that you also transfer your notes um to a digital platform whatever you like i know a lot of people use evernote or they use vim or they, they use a lot of different things i just really like notion um so yeah this is how I structure it, how I organize them, and I also want to show you all my study plan, how I take notes after projects. So this is how I take notes after I've finished a specific project that I made. So for example, this is the template, this is my study planner template. If you all are interested, this template is completely free. Um, you can find the link down below, I'll add it, or if you go to my Instagram it's or my Twitter, pretty much all my socials, the link in my bio takes you to where you can download this template. So this is the pretty much the basic structure that I follow. So this, I call it the WIL, the what I learned um, method. <laughs> so pre pretty much here, I will write out what I learned, again, in my own words. And kind of like explain it, to, explain it to yourself. Like if you're teaching yourself, I learned how to so and so and so on. And then in these um, section, I write the key concept. And then here I write stop points. And then here you can add code snippets of whatever you're explaining to yourself. So I'm gonna show you all an actual example of how I use this. For example, this one I made a menu. And I wrote what I learned. I learned how to create a dynamic menu with JavaScript using JavaScript, add products to the web page and display different categories by adding a click event buttons. Buttons also learned how to dynamically add buttons. So in my own words, saying to myself what I learned. And then here are key concepts. So for example, here a key concept is the map array method. That's an overarching theme. And then here, I kind of tried explaining to myself what is the map array method. So the map array method makes a new array with the result of calling a function for every array method. And then I'm like, okay, but what does that mean? So then again, I made another bullet point. So the map method will give you a new array that has been altered or changed by whatever code you have in the function that it was passed through. So you see how I kind of use like slang to write it out? You know, I use words that I understand, more simple words. And then here I explain what the code does. So what the code snippet here does. So in the code below, the map array method will push each menu item through the HTML provided and add the specific items into the code. Then it will display menu in the section center within the HTML document. And that's what this code is doing. Now this code is from a bigger project that I have. So of course, if someone else looks at my notes, they're gonna be like, what the heck is this? But you know, I understand it and I have the actual full on project so I can reference that. So definitely make sure that the code snippet, that you understand it, it's from, you know, things that you know. 
and then again here is another key concept the joint array method and then again here I explain to myself the joint array method returns an array as a string so if you use the map array method to create a new array then you can use join to put it all together and then display it display it so you see how I'm really explaining that to myself well, that's really important you know talk to yourself and really make sure that you understand and another thing that I like doing is embed. So it's great if you want, um, a lot of the time I'm just embedding things from MDN. So for example, here is the, for the reduce array method. And this link will take you to the MDN um, section on array me um, the reduce array method. So I definitely recommend that you embed links and it's really easy. You just do the slash and embed. You click on this. And then here you pretty much put the link that you want to embed. I'm not going to embed anything now. So yeah, that's how I take notes, you guys. Um, I'm not sure if I did a great job of, of explaining that. Um, if you have any more questions, please, please leave them down below. Or feel free to reach out to me in any of my social medias or my email or anything. And I'll try my best to help you out. Um, I really hope this video was helpful. Honestly, I'm changing the way I take notes and just... Um, taking more efficient notes has really 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 helped me and I, I really emphasize this because I know how difficult it was for me in the beginning and when I was just taking handwritten notes and you know it just wasn't efficient at all so I really 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 hope this was helpful and I will see you guys in my next video bye